I, I was wondering if we could talk about some of the uh, various cycles that get fed in, you know, the shaman's journey, the mystic's journey, and in various places, Campbell's talking about kind of all of them. Well, the artist's journey. In the artist's I journey. I mean, one of Jean Erdman's, my, my favorite aphorisms of hers is she said, that the, she said to Joe one day, you know, there's really no difference between the artist and the mystic. It's just that the mystic doesn't have a form. Hmm. Okay, so, 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 the, so the, the, the experience is the same. The experience is um, stepping outside of reality, crossing, into a, crossing that threshold into a different mode of perception, a different mode of being. If you're an artist, um, you then render that through your paint, through your dance, through your music, through your song. Um, and, and which is why Joe says that the myths of tomorrow are in the psyches of the artists of today. Hmm. In other words, we don't really know what they are. But, but if we can find means to give them expression, to give them form, they will come out as, you know, as the next film or the next symphony or the next, uh, be, because they're my grappling with it. Which is the other one, you know, when I was teaching in, in, um, at, at Cal Arts or, or even before that at Stanford and with young artists, um, the, 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 your first impulse is, is if you, you learn art history and you begin to appropriate and you begin mm -hmm. to try on different costumes, if you will, or different, based on what your medium is. Mm -hmm. um, and really, the breakthrough is, is when you throw that all away and, and you, you make that unique statement, uh, which is baby-like. Mm -hmm. um, it, okay. it, it's, it's, you know, I'm no longer trying to out, you know, out Dada the Dadaists or mm -hmm. out, out, you know, out cubistically <laughs> rendered Picasso, but, right. but, you know, I'm now, create this thing that's unique. And so that's the irony, that the deeper and more personal the artistic expression, the more likely it's going to be that it's universal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.